The program is designed to help patients and caregivers understand how to care for Hickman catheters. A Hickman catheter is inserted into thick blood vessels around the heart through blood vessels around the neck. If a Hickman catheter is inserted, a drug can be administered without additional needle. Thus, it is very convenient. However, if the infection occurs through the catheter, it is very risky. Thus, it is very important to know how to care for the catheter and to perform it. This video for safe use of the Hickman catheter. Disinfect the insertion parts of the catheter. Infusion of Harapin solution. It contains contents showing how to care for the catheter while taking a shower. When a tegaderm is applied on the insertion site, it is disinfected every seven days. When a metpore is applied, the insertion site is disinfected every two days. With discharging, bleeding, or sweating, apply a metpore and disinfect the part more often. Disinfection procedure is preparing items, disinfect the insertion site, apply a tegaderm. Fix the catheter on skin according to the following procedures. Let's look at the disinfection procedures in more detail. First, have items on a clean towel. Items to be prepared are a mask, sterile swabs, pegaderms, and a tape. Wear a mask. Wash hands thoroughly with soap. Take off the attached tegaderm. Be careful to avoid pulling the catheter. Hold the edge of the tegaderm and lift it upward. Check whether there is redness, edema, pus, discharge, or pain on the insertion site. Have a sterile swab. Three sterile swabs for disinfecting the insertion site and one sterile swab for disinfecting the catheter are needed. Take out the first swab. Disinfect the insertion site with the swab by making concentric circles in an outward direction. Do not go through the disinfected site again. The disinfected area should be large enough to be able to apply the tegaderm. After taking out the second sterile swab, repeat the disinfection process with the second swab. Repeat the disinfection process with a third swab. Disinfect the catheter with the last swab. Wipe over the upper and lower parts of the catheter by turns. Disinfect seams on the neck until stitches are removed after two weeks. Disinfect it as it is done in the insertion site. Wait until the disinfectant is completely dried. Do not blow it by mouth or a fan. Have a tegaderm while the disinfectant is dried. Apply a tegaderm. Firmly apply it not to let the edge come off. Peel off the paper at the edge of the tegaderm. Write the date of disinfection on the tape. Peel off the paper. Place it on the tegaderm. Apply the tegaderm on the neck. Fix the catheter on skin to avoid pulling the catheter by using a tape or a clamp. There are symptoms to notify medical staffs. If one of the following symptoms occur, please consult medical staffs. First, you have bleeding, redness, pus, discharge or pain on the insertion site. Second, you feel numb or pain on the shoulder or arm in which the catheter is inserted. Third, you have swollen shoulder, face, or arm in which the catheter is inserted. Heparin solution is a drug to prevent the obstruction of the Hickman catheter. It should be infused every seven days.
Infusion of paraffin solution is preparing items. Disinfect the vial of heparin solution. Get the heparin into the syringe by pulling back on the plunger. Disinfect the catheter cap. Infuse the heparin solution into the catheter according to the procedures. Higman catheter have two or three branches. Heparin solution is infused into each branch of the catheters. Let's check out the heparin infusion procedures. Wash hands thoroughly with soap. Have items on a clean towel. Have a syringe, sterile swabs, and prescribed heparin solution. Have two to three syringes depending on the number of branches of catheters. Open a bag and take out a syringe. If you slightly pull up and release the plunger, it is much easier to get the heparin solution into the syringe. Remove a plastic cap of the heparin solution vial by pulling it up. Take out the sterile swab. Wipe the rubber top of the heparin solution vial with an alcohol wipe to disinfect it. Once the disinfectant is dried out, take the cap off the needle of the syringe. Hold the heparin solution vial. Put the needle into and through the rubber top of the heparin solution vial. Keep the needle in the vial and tilt the vial. Pull back on the plunger to get 4 cc of heparin solution while looking at the syringe scales. After taking the syringe out of the heparin solution vial, carefully put the cover over the needle. All the time, be careful to avoid the needle stick injury. Have two to three syringes depending on the number of branches of catheters once getting the heparin solution into syringes. First, choose the branch to infuse heparin solution. Because each tip of branch has different colors, distinguish them by colors. Disinfect the rubber part while holding the catheter. Wait until the disinfectant is dried. While the disinfectant is dry, remove the cover of the syringe. Put the needle straight into the center of the catheter cover. After putting the needle in, open the clamp. Inject the heparin solution while looking at syringe scales. Inject only 3 cc of heparin solution. When about 1 cc of heparin solution is left, Put the plunger in and close the clamp at the same time. After pulling the needle out, put the cover on the needle and then throw away the needle and syringe to avoid the needle stick injury. Infuse the heparin solution in the other catheters with the same procedures. Never reuse the leftover heparin solution. If necessary, get a new vial with a new prescription. If there is one of the following symptoms while injecting the heparin solution, you should notify medical staffs. First, there is resistance while injecting the heparin solution, and the heparin is not injected. Second, the patients have chills or fever after the heparin solution is injected. If the heparin solution is not injected, please do not apply excessive force to inject it. You can do two following methods to care for catheters while taking a shower. First method is to use a large tegaderm and a plastic bag. First, have a tegaderm. Fold tissue as big as a tegaderm or metpore and then use the folded tissue. Cover the tegaderm or metpore with the tissue to prevent it from coming off while taking a shower. Place a large tegaderm over the tissue. Peel off the paper from the edge. When clamps are used to fix the catheter, prevent the clamps from getting wet by applying the same method used for the disinfected sites. 
Cover the tegaderm with the tissue. Have an unused clean plastic bag. Put the end of catheter in the plastic bag. Place a sticking plaster at the end of a plastic bag in order to prevent water from entering. If the end of the sticking plaster is folded, it is very easy to remove it after a shower. It is a securely wrapped shape. Second method is to use two large tegaderms. Have two large tegaderms. Cover the tegaderm or metpore with the tissue to prevent it from coming off while taking a shower. Fold tissue as big as tegaderm or metpore and then use the folded tissue. After rolling up the catheter, place a tape. First, place the tegaderm on the lower part of the catheter. Peel off the paper at the edge. Have another tegaderm. Place another tegaderm to be overlapped with the tegaderm placed on the lower part. Peel off the paper at the edge. Firmly apply it, not to let the edge come off. It is a finally completed shape. Peel off the tegaderm and tissue after a shower. Check whether or not water enters. If the disinfected site gets wet after a shower, please disinfect the insertion site again. So far, we have reviewed how to care for the Hickman catheters. If you take care of the Hickman catheters properly, you can use it safely and conveniently for a long time. Please consult the guidebook of the Hickman catheters for patients and caregivers. If you have any questions, please contact the nurse rooms specialized in tumor or general ward nurse rooms.